What's good, Horror Horde? This is your boy, Horror Gamer, back with another video for you. And as you can tell by the title of this video, it's another True Ghost Stories with Horror Gamers. And boy, I got a doozy for you guys tonight. So, before I get into it, um, I got to give you a little bit of backstory on this. So, um, the story is called The Woman in Black. And no, I'm not talking about the Hollywood woman in black that uh, was okay and then had a bullshit sequel. No. When your boy Horror Gamer was just a little thing, he would go with his family to visit his grandparents in Richmond, Virginia. Um, my grandparents on my dad's side. And they owned this little house. And um, so this house at one point before they moved into it was a corner store and it, apparently it was a very successful corner store but um, one day um, while the husband was going to get supplies um, his wife was there you know getting ready to open the store and everything and um, she was robbed raped and killed um, they cut off her head and she was wearing a black dress okay so here's where we're going with this story this is this is this story freaks me out so fast forward a little bit to when my grandparents and my dad you know and his brothers and sisters all moved into this house now my dad would tell me stories of certain things he saw in this house and I would never believe him because you know some of the stuff he told me was just, even though I believe in the supernatural, just seemed a little too far-fetched. Until the night of the incident. So, it was a it was a normal bi-yearly visit. Go down, see my grandparents, uh, make a big pot of spaghetti. That's what we always used to do. The, uh, the night before we left, we'd make a big pot of spaghetti. And my uncle was living there at the time with my uh grandparents and we would hang with him because he was kind of younger he, um he was a lot younger than my dad so and he would tell us stories of the woman in black and how his wife one night was asleep and she woke up because she couldn't breathe and she felt something like on her neck and she looked up and there was a woman in black floating above her choking her and she didn't have a head <laughs> so anyway you know the story was real cool you know like yeah the stories are scary you know but I just don't believe that's a little too far fetched for me so the night before we left we were eating dinner and we were talking about the woman in black this is where it gets a little interesting so we're talking about the woman in black we're talking about her whole story and her history and what was going on and uh all of a sudden now mind you everybody was downstairs eating dinner at the dinner table and the way it was set up there was the dinner table in the kitchen and you could look off and see the the stairs and everything into the front door so we're all sitting there eating and i'll never forget this because my heart almost stopped we're sitting there eating and we heard thumping like somebody was walking down the steps as we're talking about this and like i said mind you everybody is fucking downstairs already eating dinner and we just heard thump 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 and we don't see nobody thump thump and then the front door unlocks itself the chain pulls off the door opens and then shuts like somebody walked out of the house so we're standing there this isn't even the worst part this isn't the this is just a build-up we're standing there and we're just all shocked because we just, all of us, everybody who was there that night can attest for this. This door literally 
unlocked itself, opened up and shut like somebody left the house. And when my dad went to go look, he looked up the steps. Oh, I'll never forget this. He looked up the stairs and he turned pale and he bolted towards the back door. And then as he's doing this, we hear thumping again. Oh, I'm getting chills, man. I'm oh, okay. And um, as we hear this thumping coming down the steps, we see a black dress. And we all get up and we run. Everybody who was there that night saw the same thing. And there was like eight people there. We saw the woman in black coming down the steps. And I remember as we're leaving the house, we look back and you, there was no head. It's the scariest. Look at look. I'm actually like I want to show you something. I'm actually fucking tearing up because this this was just one of the scariest things that ever happened to me. And every time I tell it, I get oh I get like teary eyed and because I just it, it was the woman in black. It was literally her. And we never went back. Like, we stayed in a hotel that night, and um, apparently, um, after that, my grandma passed away. And then, a few late years later, uh, about 10 years later, my grandfather passed away. And we never went back to that house, because after my grandmother passed away, they moved my uh, grandfather into um, uh, my uncle's move my grandfather in with them so I, that was the last time I saw that house so we don't know if they demolished it we don't know if they resold it all I know is that that night eight people witnessed the woman in black coming down the stairs and I will never forget it because I almost had a heart attack at fucking I think I was like 10 years old when this happened and to this day I still remember vividly I'm talking about like it happened yesterday. I remember this dress, just seeing this dress come down the steps. And as we're all making a fucking run for the back door, I look back and you see there was no head. Oh my God, I still to this day just, oof, I, I would like to know if that house still is there because I would like to see if she's still there because I know I had a lot of nightmares for many years after that because of her and um, I don't know I just I just want to see if she's I just want to see if she's still there I know she's there everybody that night who was there knows she's there so it's just going back and seeing if the house is even still there and if, if it is if she's still there or if she left so but all right horror horde I, I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I enjoyed telling it to you um this one was this one was a doozy. Like I said, every time I tell it, I get I get teary eyed and I get the the hair on the back of my neck stands up because, man, this one was whew, that that was rough to see. Like it was it, the scariest thing I've ever seen, and by far, scariest thing I've ever seen. So, but all right, horror horror. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I enjoy telling you. I hope you guys will be able to sleep tonight after after hearing this story. And um, don't forget. This Saturday is the cutoff. July 4th is the cutoff for the the giveaway. So get your entries in. I don't have as many as I want to have. So get them in, guys. Come on. Let's get these entries in because I want to give away some cool shit. So, and don't forget, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. That way you're eligible to be in the contest. And then go ahead and hit that dingly ding ding button. That way every time your boy Hard Gamer throws up one of these ghost stories or one of my new videos in my new series, The Legends of, you're in the know. So, all right, Horror Horde, with all that being said, I love you guys. Thank you. And this is your boy, Horror Gamer, saying, as always, until next time, don't fear the darkness. Embrace it.